I love Spyro the Dragon. He's my favorite dragon. There's no other dragon like Spyro, but Sparks the Dragonfly. I know multiple sparks, so he is less interesting. Oh, uh, hey, how you doing? Uh, you didn't hear that. How's it going, everybody? I'm Gav the Kerbazoid, and welcome back to some more Spyro the Dragon, uh, Gremlin Child's Origin. Well, last time we played this, we defeated Toasty, defeated, uh, or did everything you can do in the Artisan world, and we finished up the, uh, hub world that is the Peacekeeper's world, and we're gonna start the first level of the Peacekeeper's world, which is Dry Canyon. Just gonna get right into the action. We're already a fifth of the way through, if you can believe that, and, uh, yeah, yeah, let's keep going. Why not? Uh... This is uh, after the first episode has released uh, as of recording, and you guys seem to have pre have <laughs> you guys seem to have liked it, and so you know, thanks as always for the support. Um, yeah, the big series is coming up soon. I'm still doing my initial uh, research on it, and so just know that it will be coming out. I don't, I don't know. I might make it into like a more big event and not uh, try to push it out as fast as possible, because at the same time, I'm also just having a great time with this. So. You never know, gotta dodge these guys, little big boomers. There's the YouTube laughter, I don't wanna deal with them at all. Oh, you little, you little cretin. Oh, excuse me? Uh, excuse me. Uh, somehow I got him. I was trying to ram him, but that's fine. Oh, it's one of the ones you have to chomp over. Leapfrog, leapfrog, there we are. Oh, you, no you don't. No, you don't. There we are. Get you, and bang, 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 bang. Alright, let's get you, you little YouTube you. Stealing something that I earned. That really is a YouTube, huh? Oh, I got hit by the poison! It essentially just works the same as any other liquid in this game. It literally, if Spyro touches any form of a liquid in this game, he'll just take a, a little plip of damage. Unfortunately for Sparks, because, yeah, that boy has taken way too much ab abuse from the guy. Get a dragon f uh, get a butterfly for our dragonfly, our little dragon guy, yes. To make sure we don't fry a little dragonfly. You know? I'm just in a... I got a song in my heart today, ladies and gamers, I don't know why. Conan. Oh, I love Conan. He's my favorite late night host. Oh! oh. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Not a problem, my friend. I do everything I can, my friend. Wow, I like faintly remember having a bit of trouble with that. Like when I first played this, like that little bit of like nostalgia from what, a year ago? That's weird, yeah, we are, I'm essentially playing this about a year from, a year ago from when I last actually played this. Come on. Oh, right. Those guys kind of tend to take their sweet time. As long as you fire it a little earlier than you think you would, like try to get as much distance as possible when you use your fire breath, chances are you're going to take them down. As, at least from what I remember. Ooh, that could have ended horribly. Our guts could have been splattered against the wall. Oh, no. I'm going to go back to get a rabbit then. Ugh. It just seems like I don't get appreciated around here. Oh yeah, the end of the level is just like right, right on top of us. You wouldn't think that. There we are. Okay, let's get some health back. I think we have only one rabbit left in the area, so ugh. we're gonna have to be careful. But that's like it's like we haven't already been careful, right? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's get this guy so that if we do manage to meet our untimely demise, we just spawn right back here. Boris! Like the bandy character. Oh, that's not a bandy. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide! I <clears throat> just noticed that the guy's, uh, that, that dragon, his, uh, tail, it's like a rattlesnake. That's awesome. Oh. Also, it's the same, the, the guy that talked about gliding, it's the same guy as the guy that I was weirdly uh being reminded of the voice of reinhardt and then like the glasses of winston from episode one so again another episode one callback i guess but 
yeah, no, it's it's interesting. Uh, excuse me, and excuse. Oh, ow! He shot me. Shot me in my cranium, and I'm not dead. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Sparks, for taking a literal bullet for me. I appreciate it. Wait for them, and I'm probably gonna live it. Yep. A dragon must be brave. Oh, I'm not gonna get that. I'm not gonna get that extra life, at least not yet. Eh. Got him. Yeah, I'm a little more confident with them now. Oh, no. Yeah, if you fall off a pit, it's a whole, like, life loss, which is a little titty-tad annoying, but we will live. We will see the day. Ooh, gosh. How I managed to survive that! God sent. Oh. Dandy's he's gone. It's out of the park! Let's get in here. Save our... Have we already gotten all the dragons? I don't think so. Ivor. Have we seen you before? Hey, <laughs> nope. Is that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke, we've known... Uh, you've known... Ah, uh, I forget. He has not known. He just wanted to start a conversation, but then kind of realized he wasn't making a good conversation halfway, and he's like, oh, if you want, I can leave. I'm not going to blame him. I've done that a fair few amount of times, uh, unfortunately. I think we've all had that little, oh, I'm not going to live that. I'm not going to live that either. <laughs> First, or uh, you know, second death of the game. Annoyingly so, but that's fine. That is fine. We will live. We will prosper. It'll be okay. We will do just fine. We've got these bopping jams to. We got these bopping jams to keep us. So, uh, heck, you know what? As I uh, clean up this area so that we don't have to worry, because I think the enemies respawn. Oh, <gasps> they don't. I think it's when I re-enter a level, or when I have a game over, that they uh, that they fully respawn. That is nice. Uh, but yeah, no, as I do a quick little, like, cleanup of this small area here, why not just, like, listen to a bit of the music? Because, again, I, I give, I try to give them ample time for music, but also, I don't do the best job, so I'm gonna be quiet for a few minutes, and, uh, yeah, as I clean up, let's listen to some amazing Spyro tunes. Okay, I think this is the ledge I need to jump off of. Peak of our jump, and hopefully that is good. I think that is barely... Ooh, barely it. We don't have a key, so we'll have to unfortunately redo this jump at some point in time. But at the very least, let's get all the goodies that are here. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Mm, no, I don't think so, except for the key, but I don't think we'll get that for a bit. So I think we're fine. I... I think we're just dandy dandy until I'm proven wrong by Sparks, but that is fine. I really need to sneeze. Oh no. Okay, that happened. Uh. Ooh, bird! That was a surprise bird! I don't like surprise birds. Surprise birds are assholes. And then. Yep, still got him. Yeah, to go for the shins is a uh, very mal. It, it looks like they're malnourished, uh, but his malnourished shins. They could, uh... Oh, you asshole. Oh, you asshole. Get you. There we are. There we freaking go. Bang, 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 bang. There we go. <laughs> I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. They're all mean to me there. We do have a rabbit. We could... Nah. I think we've killed all the enemies. I think we just have to find the key now. There's another set of... Oh. There's the key. And I missed it. Dang it. Okay, well, never mind. I will get the rabbit then. You know what? I guess I will get the rabbit. I will get my health back. How do you like them apples? Atheists? I don't I don't know. Let's jump the... Whoop. Get up here. Boom. 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 
bum, bum. Did I miss anything? I don't think I did. No. No. Oh, I didn't go- I didn't go down this main path, so... Ha ha! Take that as well, I guess, atheists, because, yeah, look at that. I guess I got everything there. That's fine. Hmm. Oh, I thought there was a gem down there. No, it was just the- the- the cactus flower. With its cactus power. Uh, let's see what I can- see where I can go. I, that feels like the way to go, am I not? Yeah, no, no. I have to somehow... Is there, like, a way I can get up on the... Oh, I remember now. I remember now. It's a little red herring. I remember now. Yeah, it's supposed to think that... It's supposed to make you think that that's an impossible jump, but really, there's another secret path. There was another secret path that I didn't go down. That, fortunately, I remember. And also... Excuse me. Also, the map also shows it, so... Hopefully, we can get this to work. Yeah, that shield ain't gonna do you no- ain't gonna do you no good. Yeah, now we can get up here, and up at the peak of our jump, and there we are. I remember! I remember, ladies and gamers, now we got the last dragon, Maximos. Not Maximus, Maximos. Oh, yeah. Incredible glide, Spyro! I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. I don't know why, that is one of the dragon conversations that I remember the most? Because I was just like, oh yeah, doesn't he like, tell you his preferences on, on cooking the damn bird? And uh, yes, yes he does. I don't know why, but it's just like, yeah, that, that voice acting is just... It fits. It fits incredibly well. Am I missing something? Where's the castle? What? Am I forget- Oh no. My brain turned off. Here? And we gotta go back down. Back down. Yeah, I remember this level specifically being- it, It's one of the more memorable levels from- well, At least from my memory. But from the, uh- From the time it took me to play this game last, yeah. No, I remember this one being a little hard. In the puzzles, there's one specific one that I remember it is like pretty notorious for the things you have to do to, to get to it, so that might be the only time I'll have to pull up a like a guide or anything of the sort in order to get it correctly, but uh Yeah, outside of that I think we're good. And also whenever that happens, don't give me any sass on Oh get the Kerbizoid using guides on on complete the game. I don't care. Loser <laughs> If you're gonna complain about someone using a guide to like get one one or a few things if it's just a bit difficult for them but they still want to go the extra mile they just need a little push literally touch grass touch grass go on a walk breathe oxygen that isn't like filtered through your mother's basement and just like let me play the video game you know let me be chill you know that's like extremely counterintuitive to like the whole point of like why i do these videos right just want to chill and have a good time and if you want to do not that don't waste your time watching this video you know go watch houston jones watch him hurt himself i don't know nothing against houston jones by the way he is a content creator that is not associated with this but i don't know he was like the first youtuber that came to mind watch Rhett and link eat the pepper again eat the hot pepper let's see what's next uh let's do this one We've already done everything here, so we don't need to fight anybody else. Clifftown! Let's go. There was Stone Town, and now there's Clifftown. Very varied in the level design here. I love it. Ooh. Oh, very high loop de loop. Holy moly, why do you. Spyro's just showing off. Friggin' asshole. Wait, how did we. Oh, I guess there was a hole in the, in the ceiling. For some reason, I was like, oh, he's looping so high so we can, like, plummet the... That would be... That That just looks like it's a pain to walk in. Just imagine wearing a giant iron cape. Hmm. Oop. Huh. My, my metal cape Zoro sure showed him. Oh. Uh. Don't work. It don't work. 
This one, I also... This world, I, I just specifically remember most of the levels in this world. I don't know why, but these are the most iconic to me. Because I remember the soup pots, I remember the Zoros, and I remember... Oh wait, we don't want to kill the axolotls! They're chill! I'm sorry. We didn't even need that one. Oh, I feel like an asshole. An asshole. I feel like a freak! Like a freak! Can't get that up there. We have to go up in this... Because there's a whole... Yeah, you can see... There's just a whole nother... Just air, open area out there. Which is going to be... I'm going to be honest. It's just like a whole... It's just... Ow! Butthole. Now I have to kill an axolotl. That's not an axolotl. They're basking lizards. I think that's the term... I think they're basking lizards. I think that's the name for them, but, uh, we had to kill them. I hear the YouTube laugh, you little. Get back here. We have to get that chest, too, uh, until we defeat this YouTube. I gotta get, I gotta get him. Give me back my ad revenue, you butthole. Yeah, I said, yeah, I said one too many times. Oh, Gab, I hope you censored that, but you know what? That shouldn't stop me from making... YouTube videos that I enjoy. Yeah, I got him. Roasted. Roasted him. Absolutely roasted them. Okay, there's a little Zoro. There's a Zoro nerd over there. I think I can get this. I faintly remember being able to get it. No. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I don't think that's the intended way of getting it, but gosh dang it, that's what I did. Let's get our first dragon of the area. What's your name? Halvor. What's up, Halvor? How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro, flame won't work on metal, but charge it with your horns? That should do the trick. Or you can just be like me and have a giant YouTube hammer. That also works. Oh, I missed a gem right here. Yeah, this one specifically, I remember. This was still during the time that I didn't know the Sparks mechanic where you press the left stick. He'll show you where the nearest gem is. Either this was the level that taught me it or uh, that I had to figure it out. Or there's just a whole other level that I'm just not remembering. Get those guys and jam jam. Jim a jam. Okay, get over here, you freak. Over here, you freak. This one, oh, oh yeah, jeez, I remember specifically, yeah, this is why I didn't like the ram was this one specific enemy, because yeah, if you falter and you don't get it right for like one nano, if you don't get get it like perfectly, he'll just stab you and you'll lose a life. I remember losing a fair amount of lives to specifically those Zoros when I was, you know, testing out the game mechanics and all. Got another dragon statue, 13 lives, not too shabby, not too shabby. Let's go up here. Come on, come on, come on. Soup's on. Oh. The soup is still on. Heck yeah. Well, excuse me. Oh, soup's on. I was just burping because I had so much soup. Mmm, 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 delicious soup. Mmm. I have no clue why I'm just out of nowhere so dang burpy. I, I recorded the, uh, I'm assuming the video that's going to come before this, which is my... Mario Kart 8 Deluxe video that I did while I was just chilling out. And, uh, yeah, if that video is all well and good. Ooh, mm, soup's on. Come on, there we are. If that video came up, uh, you, yeah, no, that video too. I was just like surprisingly boipy, which I don't get because uh, maybe I'm drinking my water too fast. Aw, oh, damn. Forgive me for hydrating. Aw, oh, unfortunate. Aw. Oh. Soup's still on, let's go! Heck yeah! What do you have to say, Enzo? Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide there and find out? Yeah, essentially once you find it, you're just like, Oh, there's like a, a whole new world! And another dragon statue! <laughs> it's right there. It's right there for your beautiful set of eyes to see. Uh, apologies to viewers that have a circumstance where they have lost the ability to see, th to see through one or both their eyes. This joke does not apply to you, and I deeply apologize. Peak of our jump, let's glide over and see what's happening to make sure we can actually get it. Are you... Uh, 
Well, that, thank God we got that one up. Because, yeah, so that's why I like Spyro 2, like, controls-wise, simply because we could press a button and that would be a bit of a safeguard so that you didn't have to, you know, it just makes the uh, the jumping less, uh, less annoying. And that is always something I will go for. Now, if you want me to be honest, I feel like the rest of this level is just kind of boring. Because, yeah, it's just one giant expanse where you have to just pray to God, you know, like, just, yeah, go around, get your, get your thingies, get your Jimmy Jims. And look at those goofy little guys. I love them. Oh, my God. Yeah. I love them. They're so cute. Uh, there's like an actual, just like a joy in my, in my heart, my heart of hearts, my heart of gamer hearts. I just, I love those basking lizards so much. They're so goofy and they just, they just screech at you. I think the other, nope. I was going to say, I thought the other vulture, that's what they're called, brain, thank you. Uh, the other vulture. I was worried the other vulture was coming at the same time and I wouldn't be able to get it, but not the case. Marco from Star vs. the Forces of Evil? No. You've reached the highest point in Clifftown. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that whirlwind over there. So now we have, yep. Now we have an easy access point to get right back up here. So in case we don't do everything and in case we're not able to do everything in the first try, we got this. I think I know that was a different level. I think there's at least one dragon statue in every level. I think so. Uh, I hope so. Uh, yeah. How are we doing? How have we done? How are we freaking done? Oh, we're missing four. No. 60. Ah, oh, 64 gems. Oh, Nintendo 64. Hell yeah. Not anymore. And okay, what am I missing? Something over there. Ah, right. Okay, that's good. Whirlwind, thank you. Appreciate. I think we'll barely be able to make it. I was correct. Hmm. Sparks. Yeah, no, I, this one's just specifically difficult for me because, yeah, there's so much they have to backtrack for in this level, and I'm not... Oh. I didn't even think to look around the uh, <gasps> opening statement. I was scared I was going to fall to my, my Dimidoom. not it. There is some more back there, but I don't know how to do it. Oh, wait. I have an idea. I don't want to look up anything. Seriously, though, that one, there's like one level that I know that I'll most likely have to do a look up a guide for. But until then, oh, damn. Okay, let's see. Yep, I was right. There's a little thing here. This is the last of it. Yes, it was, baby. Okay, let's get to the exit, and let's get the heck out of here. Good set of levels, I'm not gonna lie. Having a good time, having a good time with you guys, having a good talk, having a good conversation. It's nice. It, I forgot how nice it was to get back into Let's Playing. It, it's nice. After do, not doing it for so long, it's been... It's nice. That, that, was, that was supposed to sound a lot better than it did, but oh well. Okay, I think one more quick level is in order. Just because I want to keep playing, and I'm probably going to record just this one video for the day. Or, you know, that and the Mario Kart. But not Shemp. Oh, what am I trying to find? Ah, yes, it's over here. Leave me alone. You daddy. YouTube! Yeah, I want to go for Night Flight, because I want to do something nice and short, because we've been uh, taking our sweet time for this episode. But I want to get one more, one more quick level done. Just because I feel like I want to talk more, and I want to do more. Yeah, that's what I want to do. So yeah, we're going to do a bit more, a uh, little more for this episode, and uh, you know what? You're freaking welcome. Because this one might be, it might either, it's either going to take so little time, and this one will be like way easier than the, than the one we did before. Maybe, if not, I, I think this one is actually way easier than the, than the first one. Because I remember you have to, like, this one is not that bad. And I say that right as I 
hit <laughs> right as I as I hit a freaking obstacle, but that's fine. This one definitely is the bad. I like this one on the looks alone just because all the Chrissy crystals. Man, remember Chris Tales for those? That's a that's a weird like. I guess that's a. Is it technically considered a deep cut if it only happened, what, less than, a, like, about a year ago? Not even a year ago, yeah. For those who didn't know, there was this one game that I played a while ago called Chris Tales, and it is a, and I was very scared that it was actually Cristales, like, one word, and that's, like, Spanish for crystals. Maybe, maybe that's one of, like, the jabs towards it. Where am I supposed to go now? Oh, wait. Nope. Oh, yes, that is, that is the thing. I don't think we got it, though. Okay, well, now we know, but I don't know where the other lighthouses were? Okay. There's eight of them, though, so keep that in mind, everybody watching at home. Uh, but Chris Tales was a very interesting game. It was a... It was a Mario and Luigi, essentially like a, uh... Like a, a combat system where you have multiple characters, and most, if not all, their attacks are based on, like, hitting a button at the right time or doing a certain prompt. Essentially, it's like an RPG where it requires a lot... It actually requires input from the player when they do the attacks. Not to the extent of like an action RPG where, you know, you actually do the attacks, but you know, there's like, it's a little more to jazz things up. It's that Nintendo flair that, uh, frankly, it's one of, you know, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, one of my favorite games of all time because of like the reactionary combat. I love that stuff. Um, but Chris Tales does like a similar, <laughs> similar kind of thing where, uh, yeah, you know, you kind of get to do that. And it's, I, Oh, that's that's annoying. Uh, where? Okay, now we have to find a light. So we'll go to you, and then we'll go to you. Oh, over there. Okay, thank you. Eh. And I don't know where anyone is. Yeah. Okay. Goodness, we have to like wrap around for that. Oh no. But yeah, no. Chris Tales is really fun, and the big uh, like uh, gr uh like the big main gimmick of it is that uh, you get to. You get to change the time. It's a time travel game, so... I remember when I first advertised the game. That was when I... I think the last time I streamed on YouTube was when I tried out streaming on, uh... I tried streaming Chris Tales, and then I think I switched... Yeah, like, midway through streaming Chris Tales, I was, uh... I switched over to Twitch for a while, and then moved back to YouTube, which I am still streaming today. Uh, again, every Friday if you're... interested in that. Ooh, I feel like you need to do both. I might just be me. Yeah, it's probably just me. Um, but yeah, no. The main gimmick is that you can tr you can like travel through time in the sense of like you can change the time on the left and the right side of the screen. Center screen is o center of the screen is always going to be the present. The left side of the screen, more or less, is going to be the past, and then the right screen you can change to the future. It's a really cool concept, and it's you know they did a bunch of really cool ways of doing that where it's like certain status effects had to happen in different ways depending on like they were like time based. Essentially, like, uh, there's, like, a rust... The one that's, like, the easy and, like, one of the only examples of this that I could find... Oh, we're gonna barely get it! What? 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 Yeah, no, it's it's a really cool game. It's just the problem was throughout this... After the second arc, arc of the game, and you can find this on, uh... You can find this on Curb Plus if you want to watch my, uh... My gameplay through it. It's when I was first starting streaming, like, as a regular thing, so... You know, bear with me if you do decide to watch through it, but yeah, no, it's fun, but I feel like it gets really, like, it tries to do a story about the gray area after, like, the second arc where it's, like, you kill this, like, this monster that was... I'm gonna do a quick spoiler of the game for those that, like, care at all, but I don't think I got all the gates. Something tells me I didn't get them all. I'm not happy about that, but, uh, yeah, essentially at the end of the second arc, you kill this demon that essentially two twins murdered their mother for, and then after you do that, you kill the beastie. That's fine. Like, you know, you think you did the right thing, but then one of the characters essentially just goes, yeah, but to them, we were the bad guys. And that's supposed to, like, leave a lasting, like, message throughout the story. And the only thing I could think when I was playing it was, that's dumb. <laughs> like, yeah, sure. In their eyes, we were the bad guys, but also they... You know, in their twist. Oh my god, am I not doing this correctly? Um, but yeah, they provide that stupid gray area story that I just really... It really rubbed me the wrong way. Because literally for the rest of the story, this like... 
this is never like brought up like or even is like this is the only time it's introduced in the story and i just i didn't like it i'm not gonna lie it just didn't it didn't really like it didn't do anything other than like i just felt like it was dumb <laughs> that was it i didn't really feel like it was like oh yeah you know what game you have a point no i just thought oh yeah no that is kind of that why is this like even a thing that's kind of stupid I don't know, I never saw it as like, this, oh yeah, you know, you could make this a like moral argument. No, I just thought, oh, that's kind of dumb. I don't, I don't quite agree with this because literally these guys murdered their mom and then like, why, why are we like justifying murder for like no reason now? I want to, oh, I don't want to do that. That just wastes time. I don't know why I did it. I was like, do you get to do barrel rolls like you can in the... <laughs> I, I genuinely just I genuinely just threw um there's a demo on the switch where it kind of shows you the first few minutes of the game and if I'm if I'm honest I think the first like main sh the first two chapters of the game were the moments that like I was having a great time I genuinely was but then like the rest of the like after the second arc and I had to go into the third arc and I had to go to the fire town and that whole scenario happens where it's like Oh, we're the bad guys, or whatever. It's just like, it's an, it's dumb, and I just don't like it. Okay, so let me know what I did wrong here. Let me know what I did wrong, because this time I had a full second to spare, compared to last time. Like, that's how specific this needs to be. It's a fun idea. It's a fun idea. I'm not gonna say it's not a fun idea for this part, but ooh. Ooh. It's like, even more trial and error than I would like be, I would be happy with. Guess you have to plot a course with, like, flying controls that I just do not like. I think that's why I just don't like it nearly as much, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, no, if you want to try out Peacekeepers, one, if you're interested in it, in it and you don't want to pay the money to buy it, there's a demo on the Switch eShop. I don't know what else it's on. That's all I know. Uh, there's an eShop demo for the Switch, and then you can also just watch my streams if you're ever interested in that. <laughs> he really was not going to prove, like to be of any threat. I don't know how many more levels there are. I don't know. Chris Tales, I still remember very fondly because it's a very well-drawn game. Actually, the way that they draw uh, heads is actually a huge inspiration for how I draw my own character. It was an artistic inspiration. I love the game, like, uh, looks-wise. It has a very distinct style that I really like. Uh, the combat is really fun for the most part. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a really fun game. I just wish that I enjoyed it more. That's really it. Is there really only five levels to this game? There's no way. Happy birthday! We got Ice Town, and then... Yeah, there's Dr. Shemp. Is there really... No, there's no way there's... I guess I guess there really is only two levels left. Okay, well, that's gonna mean next episode we're gonna... Okay, bye. I can't... Okay, never mind then. I guess next episode we're gonna be finishing the uh, Peacekeeper's World... And then we'll head off into the next world, which I'm very excited because I faintly remember the next world being a, uh, it's like a hick world or it's like a swamp bayou area. I'm very excited for that area. It's one of my favorites, just themes alone. So I'm very excited and hopefully you are because yes, next time we play Spyro, we'll finish this up and we'll head over to that world. Maybe that or the other world. I know there's like a Shakespearean magic, whatever. That one's lame. It's dragons and magic. Who cares? I want to see my hillbillies, damn it. Uh, but yes, as always, the next time I see ya, I will see ya.